All right, to give all glory and praise and honor to the Most High. It's gonna be a little quick little lesson now. Today we're gonna be, uh, you know, just looking at, um, you know, this verse from uh, the, the rapper J. Cole, you know, uh, from one of his songs. And, you know, these guys are blasphemous, man, and they do it in a slick, sneaky way, you know? And they're and, and like I've been saying, you know, they're against the most high, man. They're Masonic puppets, you know. They're not real revolutionaries, man. They're controlled. And the reason that we're gonna be taking a look at this specific lyrics today, you know, just a little short snip is because, you know, J. Cole, he feels that, you know, his words are gonna be established forever over the scriptures. And that's basically what he's saying in these um in these verses. You know, in in the song. So we're gonna take a look at it real quick and analyze it. So right here, um, this is uh, uh, the song Javari uh, by J Cole, and we're gonna read the, we're gonna read the, uh, the lyrics real quick. So the first line said, "God is real, and He's using me for bigger purpose. So f the world that would have you to think that a nigga worthless." Sometimes I think these verses can help a person way more than the ones they're reading in churches on days of worship. No disrespect to the Lord and Savior. That ain't just ego. I observe them words <laughs> no longer relate to people because modern, <laughs> modern times be flooded with dollar signs. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> you hear this, man? This is loftiness, man. Are you serious right now? So let's break this down, man. So this is, God is real and he's using me. His God is the devil, man. These guys serve Satan, man. I said they made sonic puppets. So they sold out, you know, and they found success, you know, under their God, the devil, you know, under the umbrella of wickedness, man. You know, they had to sell out, you know. They had to not, not speak the truth, you know, lead the people astray. That's how they found success. It's the only way to make it, man, you know. So, he says right here, he says right here, um, sometimes I think that these verses can help a person way more than the ones they read in the churches. You, you fool, man. So, these verses stood the test of time, man. You know, nobody's going to know who J. Cole is in about, a, in, in about 50 years or less or 100 years or less, man. You know, like I said, man, I always say like, yo, when you walk down that Hollywood strip, man, the Hollywood Boulevard, we see all those stars. I say there's a lot of names on there, you know. In order to get a star on that on that uh, boardwalk, you have to, you know, you have to do your uh, you have to do your part, man. You know, nobody they don't just put people on there with a star unless they do their part or sacrifices this down the third. And it's a lot of people on there that you're not gonna recognize, man. You're not gonna recognize who they are. It's a lot. Some of them you will, you know, but eventually they all fade away, man. You know, but you know the one thing that whether they believed in the scriptures or not, you know, they knew the name of or whether you want to use Jesus or whether you want to use Yeshua, they knew the name, they knew the story, you know. But everybody don't know who they are, man. You know, and it's the same thing that's gonna happen with this guy, man. And this is blasphemous, man. You know, and you meant disrespect, man. He said, I observe that these, <laughs> that them words no longer relate to people. Because their God is money, man. He says, because modern times be flooded with dollar signs. Their God is, is money, man. Their God is, is money, man. You know, this is what they want. This is what they worship. You know. The scripture says, let's bring that up. Proverbs twelve nineteen, The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment, man truth shall be established forever this word that these scriptures like i said it's been here for thousands of years it stood the test of time and it's still here and they've been trying to get rid of it man you know they've been trying to get rid of it but it, it, it's still here man you know these guys have the love of the world man they got the love of the world you know what does that mean look let's say if these guys die tragically right now everybody's gonna be sad oh my god it's crying that isn't that you know Oh my gosh, it's such a tragedy. But you know, and they're not being persecuted. You know, but you target individuals out here, you know, 
let something happen to you. You know, when they're actively trying to kill us every day, you know, they don't want us here on this earth. You know, why? Because we don't have the love of the world. You know, when we pass, they're going to celebrate. They're going to rejoice, man. It's, it's the total opposite. The scriptures speak of that, you know. But people look at these guys and they revere them and they think that they're, you know, their words are, <laughs> you know, have meaning and, 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 and they're of substance. And these guys are not of, of, of substance, man. You know, they're not. They profess themselves to be wise, like the scripture says, but they're really fools. You know? He said, I think that these verses can help some more than the ones they're reading in the churches on the days of worship, man. <laughs> So he thinks his word supersedes the most high. You see how foolish that sounds? You know, how prideful you have to be to say something like this, man. <sighs> Come on, man. You know, these guys are not telling you who you are, man. You know, they're not, they, you know, they, they're not breaking down the scriptures and telling you who you are. They, they really don't care about, you know, you coming together. Because why? Because they're under the house of Pharaoh, man. Oh, one minute they may they, they, they may pretend like they're on board. You know, they may read a little scripture here. They may say, I'm an Israelite, this, that, the third. But then again, you know, when the pressure gets applied to them, they drop all that and they go back. You know, that, that's, that's what happens, you know. You know, but the ones out here really pushing the truth, you know, they're hated, man. You know, they're hated. So you, you see you got this Kendrick Lamar out here. You're, now he's on this whole, you know, Yeshua thing. He's wearing the, uh, the crown of thorns and this, that, and the third. You know, <laughs> it's, all, <laughs> it's all rooted in deception with these guys, man. Don't let them fool you. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. Hold on. So you see right here, you know, he's, um, this was one of his performances. You know, he's wearing the crown, of, the crown of thorns. He has blood on him. But you see, you know, slightly off to the left, this guy's hands is in a, uh, <laughs> a pyramid, you know. You can't, you, you know, you just got to pay attention. I always, that's why I say I always look at the signs and the symbolisms, man. You know, they're under the house of Pharaoh, man. You know, and, and, and another thing, too, you see, you know, he tried to push that, uh, oh, Christ was a, uh, the greatest prophet. You know, then you got to watch that, too, because they also push that in Islam. You know, they don't think that he was the, uh, you know, the Messiah. They, they, they push that he was a, you know, he's a prophet, you know, even though, you know, he's under the order of Melchizedek, king, priest and prophet. But you got to watch that, too. You know, because in Islam, they say, yo, he was just a prophet, you know, which is a, which is a lie, you know. And if and, and, and if he opens his mouth and say, look, he's the greatest prophet ever, wouldn't his words be true? Wouldn't he be the, you know? You know the um what he say what he say he was before Abraham I was, you know, <laughs> so, you know, this is it man, yeah. Let's let's bring this bring this verse up too, man. You know because, like I said, everybody when these guys speak, everybody is like, oh my gosh, they extolled it to the clouds like the scripture says, man. You know he said I'm an Israelite. You know everybody freaked out. You know, but people have been pushing this for years. You know, and nobody nobody really pays attention. You know? So we got um right here, uh, Luke chapter four, verse twenty-four to twenty-eight. Uh this is Yeshua Hamashiach speaking. He said, uh, and he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country, man. No prophet is accepted in his own country. So he's saying the real the real prophets, you know, they're really they're not accepted by their own, you know, you know. And you see guys like, you know, J. Cole, you see guys like, you know, Kendrick Lamar, they, you know, they, you know, they, 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 Kendrick Lamar, they pushing him with this whole, you know, Christ thing nowadays, you know, and, <laughs> you, know, you know, a lot of people is latching onto it. And he's saying, look, the real ones are not accepted by their own, man. J. Cole, he's talking about, you know, he's talking about his lyrics. Uh, he, you know, he thinks lyrics can help. <laughs> more, more than more than the scriptures, more than the Bible. You know, only the fools believe that. Only a fool will believe that, man. Because you know the power of these scriptures, like I've been talking about. You know, previously the power of the scriptures. You know, you know that. Look, man, these words are, are, are weapons. Like the scripture says, "Hey, this is this is a sword, man." You know, this is your sword. This is a weapon. You know, so his words, <laughs> his words are dull. 
compared to this, man. You know, or his verses. So let's keep reading. But I tell you the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elas when the heaven was shut up three years and six months when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Eli sent, save unto Sarpeta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel at the time of, um, that's um, it's Elijah, oh, Elisha, that's Elisha, Elis, Elisha, the prophet. And none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. And, and all day in the synagogue when they heard these things they were filled with wrath so they got pissed off when he said this man they were filled with wrath when he said this so he's saying look Elijah you know it was famine in Israel you know but only a uh, only a woman outside you know that was a Gentile got, got, you know was saved it was said it was many lepers in Israel but he said, a Syrian, a Gentile outside got saved. Why? Because they were persecuting the prophets, man. The real prophets are not accepted by their own, you know. And that's a good way to tell, you know. No prophet is accepted in his own country, man. So you see these guys, they talking all this mess. They're fake, man. You know, they fake. You know, they under the house of Pharaoh, under the house of deception. You know, and like I said, they made it in this world. They say they say God is God has blessed them. They made it in this world by selling out, you know, to do all manner of wickedness and lie to the people. You know. So see that man? So, like Solomon said, man, all is vanity, man. And he had everything in the world. You know. All all was all was vanity. All the works of men. The riches, you know, the fame, it was all vanity. You know, so him saying this is bullcrap, man. You know, because people are going to forget about J. Cole, you know, in 100 years or less, man. He's, he's going to fade away like every single last one of them. He's not going to be relevant. But I, I guarantee you, this word is still going to be here. People will know who Yeshua HaMashiach is, you know. You know, like all those people on the, on the you know, on that whole, uh, whether they believe that's not, like I said, on that star, on that boardwalk, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, they knew the name. You know, they may not have believed. They knew the stories. You know why? Because it's the Most High that makes you famous, man. That's real fame. You know, real fame. You know, not 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 what these guys give you that that could take back. You know. They stood the test of time, man. And like you said, like I said, man, do you think those people that was doing the work back then thought that their names would still be, you know, reading about them thousands of years later on? No, they didn't think that. But it's the most high that makes their, makes you famous, man. Real fame. That's real fame, you know, for your name to be still relevant all these years, you know. That just goes to show you the power of the word, man. You know. So J. Cole, you're a fool, man. You know, because your verses is not helping nobody. You know, but leading them into more wickedness. You know, luring traps for them to sell out. You know, and sell their soul for dollar bills. You know, he's just not waking nobody up, man. You know, all you doing is telling them to sell out. That's the only thing you could tell him. You know? So, hopefully this was edifying, man. It's a quick lesson. So all praise to the most high, man.